Hey guys, it's Audrey's Jar, and today I will be teaching you 10 beginner's macrame knots. The first knot I will be showing you today is called the lark's head knot and is used to attach the cord to the dowel. You're going to want to fold your piece of cord in half and put the loop over the dowel and bring the strings back through the loop. And then you can pull on it to make sure it's secure. The next knot is a square knot, and you can make this with however many strings you want, but I am going to show you how to do it with four. So take the outer two strings and make a four with the left one, and then set the right string on top of it, and bring it under through the loop. make a backwards four with the right string and put the left over it and behind through the loop. And that is one square knot. You can continue to make more square knots all the way down or you can make a pattern like I'm going to show you in a little bit. To make a pattern with your square knots, go ahead and use as many strings as you want depending on how many knots you want. So four strings per knot. To show you, I am only going to be using eight strings. So I'm going to make one square knot for the four left strings and one square knot for the four right strings. Then I'm going to make a square knot using the four center strings. So leave out the outer two strings on each side and do a square knot right in the middle. And then go back to doing one knot on the left and one on the right. The next knot is called a horizontal double half hitch knot. Take the string on the far left and lay it over the rest of the strings horizontally. Then take the next string and make a U shape over the other string. Put it over and through that loop you just made. Then do the same thing again with the same string. That is why it is called a double half hitch. So make a U, put it over the horizontal string and through the loop. Now you will do the same thing with the next string. Make a U, put it over and through the loop. So do that twice to every string until you get to the end. Next, I will show you the diagonal version of this. So lay your string over the rest of the strings diagonally and then make all of the knots.
The next knot is the twisted knot. It is basically a bunch of square knots, but instead of switching from right to left to make a full square knot, you do only right knots or only left knots. So I made a four with the left string and put the right string over it and brought it around the back through the loop. And then do that same thing over and over again. Now I will show you the button knot, also called the berry knot. First you will make four square knots, which I have already done. Then take the two strings in the middle and put them through the hole at the top. Make sure you pull them all the way through. Then take the outer two strings and make a square knot at the bottom to secure the knot. Now I'm going to be doing square knots with gaps in between. So make a square knot at the very top, and then when you do the next square knot, you will leave space in between instead of tightening it all the way up. For this next one, you are going to want to start off with square knots with gaps. It is called the butterfly knot. Hold on to the two middle strands at the bottom while pushing up the bottom square knots. It should create little butterfly wings. This next one is called the Josephine Knot. It's probably the hardest of the ones I'm showing you today, but I will try to explain it the best I can. Take the two left strands and make a loop over the right like so. Then take the two right strands and bring them up like this and bring them under through that little hole at the top. Then 
then put it into the loop and under those two strands. Then bring them out. Mine got a little twisted, so I'm fixing that and tightening it. The last and final knot I will be showing you today is the gathering knot, and this one you will need an extra rope. So take it like I have and make a U shape, and wrap it around the bottom as many times as you want, making sure not to cover the loop we have created. Once you are done wrapping it around, put the end of the string into the loop. And you can pull up on this top string to cover the end. <laughs> 